What is up, guys? It's me, John Avenger, once again, and welcome to another Movies from the 2000s Month. This is a review of a 2008 sci-fi action thriller with, yes, uh, Anakin Skywalker himself, Hayden Christensen. I know my last review of his did kind of got low views. I get it. People doesn't, are not a fan of this guy. I don't think he's that bad. Here, this is his uh, vehicle that he did after the Star Wars prequels, and that is the 2008 film... Jumper. Yeah, I do like this film. It's not for everyone, but it was for me. I thought that uh, d despite the film's flaws and shortcomings, it has a lot of things I liked. It's really short. It's 88 minutes long. It's not two hours. The special effects pretty look pretty good. You know, when he jumps, it's like Nightcrawler when he's teleporting in, in X-Men 2. I like the romance between him and Rachel Bilson. It's a lot better than in the prequels, I could say that, because him and Rachel Bilson are actually together in real life, so that's nice that they've met each other. You know, she's a very cute young lady, and, you know, they have a nice chemistry. Um, it's got a pretty decent supporting cast. You got uh, Jamie Bell. He's so much better here than in Fan Four Stick. He had nothing to do in that movie. Here, he uses his ac real accent. I know he's British, but, you know, he's trying here compared to fan four stick it was just he looked like he was 12 years old because he lost so much weight and you have uh, rachel bilson like i said who's an adorable sweet beautiful girl i've i've always liked her so i felt like she was always underused in films she did more television but you know she's a cute sweetie pie you have a uh, michael rooker i am so glad he's in guardians of the galaxy now the guy is brilliant his southern accent is so thick as i he plays Yondu, you know, the blue alien. He's just, he's badass, even for his age. He's awesome in, in, in almost anything he's in. You got Anna Sophia Robb. She's, um, she was in Bridge to Terabithia and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, the Carrie Diaries. She's a cutie. I like her. And uh, also she was in uh, Race to Witch Mountain with The Rock. And you got Max Thuriot, who I don't mind. He's, uh, he was in Catch That Kid and uh, House at the End of the Street, but I don't mind him. He's tolerable compared to Liam Hensworth or something like that. You got Diane Lane, another movie where she's in, uh, and, uh, you know, I just talked about her in Holly uh, Hollywood Land. I like her as an actress. I can see her in films. Here, she's pretty decent. I haven't seen her in, in the, I haven't seen this film in forever, but I remember renting it and enjoying it. And Samuel L. Frickin' Jackson, the man that's in almost every movie now, because, let's face it, you know, he's getting older and he's wants to make up for lost time because in the in the early 90s he was not a name yet and now he's in almost every year he's in a film because the guy is brilliant i know he's kind of overexposed now but when he does a good film like the avengers you know you remember him and he's the villain here one of the main villains uh the premise was pretty interesting a bunch of people that can leap into you know into the into time and and teleport anywhere it was interesting and, uh, you know, he's always, he acts like, oh, I can do whatever I want and get away with it. But then Samuel Jackson shows up and is like, no, there are always consequences. And I agree with that. Yes. Every decision he makes in this movie has a consequence no matter where he is. And the locations are pretty good. I like that. Yes, this movie has a cameo from Kristen Stewart. I know. She's horrible in Twilight. Here, she's only in the film for a few minutes. So it will not hurt you. And I know one of the uh, producers is Simon Kimber, that dumbass that did... Uh, X-Men 3, and I think he did uh, Apocalypse, and yeah, he's not really much of a, a writer or director. He also did Mr. and Mrs. Smith, which I cannot handle. That movie is much longer than this, and it's boring. Here, 88 minutes long. It goes fast. It's not painful. I don't mind Hayden Christensen in the lead. You know, he has more life to him here. This is done by Doug Lyman. I think he did a good job directing it. And there was supposed to be a sequel. I wish there was a sequel more to this than half of the films that we got sequels to in the last 10 years, obviously, because I like the premise here. I like the special effects. The story is, is, is straightforward. It's not too complicated. It doesn't have a British actor that takes me out of it. Like Jamie Bell, I can handle, but because he's not in everything. I mean, he was in Fan 4 Stick last year, and he hasn't done much since. But if you always have to throw a Brit in a, in a sci-fi movie, it just takes me out of it, like, completely. Hayden is Canadian, so I can handle him. And he's a handsome guy. I know, from a straight guy's perspective, he's not uh, for girls, he's not that hard to look at. I mean, Liam Hensworth, it, to me, I see nothing. That guy is a block of wood. He's just one of the worst actors I've ever seen. And there's a reason that he makes films and they bomb instantly. With Hayden, I can handle him in the prequels. I can handle him here. 
I like Shatter Glass. I think it's very intriguing. If you give him a good script, I think the guy can do something. He's not the best, but he's not the worst either. I've seen far worse. Trust me. I've seen actors from the 50s and the 60s. It's just they, they don't they're not acting. They're just they're they're reading lines off of cue cards. And uh, this film has a lot of features. So on this one, there's um there's a commentary, there's an uncensored documentary. There's jumping around the world featurettes, making an actor jump, jumping from the novel to the film. I never read the novel, so I don't know how it is faithful to the film. I like the film for what it is, despite its flaws. And, uh, oh yeah, the director did Born Identity, which I do also like. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, no, I was very disappointed. It's so overrated and boring. But this movie is, is fun. If you shut your brain off and you don't think about logic for, for an hour and 28 minutes, you're going to be fine. Just, just give, give, you know, have fun with the movie. At least look at the film. You know, people, this is one of those forgotten films that was a hit. This was not a major bomb. This was actually a decent sized hit. And it came out in February in 2008. Uh, and it was cold and it, it, it's no, it's no Deadpool, but I'll take this over Legend of Hercules or freaking Gods of Egypt or Zoolander 2 or any of the movies that have come out in like the last five winners. Because those are just horrendous most of the time. Occasionally we get a good movie. Lego movie. Deadpool. SpongeBob. Sponge Out of Water. <laughs> but most of the movies in the winter are just freaking terrible. Especially January. But this isn't that bad. I've seen far worse. Give me this over the fifth wave. That movie bored me to tears. And that had a good lead. But it still didn't save it. But I like Jumper for what it is. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for... Enduring my videos. I know some some of you kind of like skipped my last two videos. It's okay. I understand I can't always talk about films from like this year or last year Sometimes I want to go back and remind myself that there were films in the last 10 years that I haven't seen in a while And I want to share them with you guys. So that's not a bad thing. Let me get a sip of juice. Cheers ah, That's good OJ is the best. Orange juice. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting on my videos. There was a glitch on my videos that I couldn't even see my own videos. But, hey, that's happened to a lot of people on YouTube this year. But, anyway, I'm back and I'm still here to stay. I deleted some videos that were old, got some copyright claims, yada, yada, yada. But I'm here to stay. I'm not going to go anywhere. You guys are worth it. Stay cool in this hot summer. And watch some movies. You know, there's still another month left. So we got a lot, a long way to go before summer's over. So there will be more reviews in August, I promise you guys, later.